Hey guys, this is Nikhil and welcome to yet another video on multi-threading in my series on parallel programming in Python. So now in this video, we're gonna discuss a bit about thread synchronization. So what is thread synchronization? As we had um, tried to learn in the process synchronization in case of multiprocessing, the same thing applies here as well. So what is happening here is that um, thread synchronization is a mechanism which um, does not allow or prevents multiple threads to execute at the same time in the critical section. So now in the case of multiprocessing, the critical section referred to that part of code which was being uh, which was uh, having the update or access to any kind of shared data. Now that was shared data in the shared memory, but in the case of threads, um, what is a thread? Uh, what is the shared data? It is actually the global variables. So all your global variables are going to act as the critical are uh, going to be a part of the critical section. So if you have a thread and that is executing any function and in that function if there is any line which is um, referring to your global variable then that particular line is a critical section and if multiple threads are trying to execute at the same time over a given critical section then some race conditions might happen by race condition we mean that you might get some unpredictable some wrong you can say some wrong values of your global variable okay so now um, let us try to see the example of race condition in threading first and then we will see that how we can synchronize it okay so here is an example I have imported threading module so I have a global variable called x which has been set as 0 and there is a function called increment which simply increments the value of my global variable x by 1 and also I have a task for my thread which is to increment um, my global variable x 10,000 times okay it is not 10,000 I think it's 1 lakh okay so it will um, 1 lakh times it will call the increment function and try to increment the global variable x so this is this is going to be the task of my threads and for that I'm just gonna in my main task I'm gonna create two threads for doing the same task right so finally the value of x should be 2 lakhs right so the final value should be 2 lakhs so let us see if that is the case or not um, this is my main task and I am running it 10 times okay I am running my main task 10 times so look at that only 2 times I get the correct value all the other times it was something wrong value actually it is lesser than what we intended right so what is happening here there is some data corruption happening here right some kind of um, unpredictable values are appearing and that is happening because I have two threads which are trying to run simultaneously um, and access the critical region at the same time right so just try to understand it with a very simple example here um, I have thread one here in the yellow in the I have in the blue strip and thread two in the yellow strip so here my is my variable x let's say let us say it is having a current value of 10 right thread two reads it as 10 thread 1 also reads it as 10 and now both are gonna increment it by 1 so thread 2 will increment it to 11 and thread 1 also increment it as 11 and finally they will write it and the final value will be 11 now that is wrong because actually two increments happen on your um, integer x but that is not being reflected actually you are getting a value lesser than that you are getting 11 instead of 12 so that is the problem that is happening here and why is it happening it is happening because you allowed um, multiple threads to enter their critical regions at the same time so that is wrong right so our solution is to use a lock let us try to see first through a diagram that how will a lock work so first of all any thread which wants to access its critical region it has to um, acquire a lock so here thread 2 acquires a lock so now it is able to read the value of x it increments it it writes it during that process you can see that um, thread one tried to request the lock but that was not allowed because some other thread is actually having the lock fine finally after doing the write thread two will release the lock and now if thread one requests the lock it will get it it will acquire it it will read the value write it and finally release the lock so final value will be 12 so this is much safer way and this actually synchronizes your threads 
right? So in this way, we use the logs. So let us try to see how we can implement the concept of logs in um, Python. So here you can do it like this. Log is equal to threading dot log. So this will create a log object for me. And now I will pass it using uh, as one of the arguments. Arcs equal to log. And yeah, here I will have to do the thing. In the thread task, I'm getting the log as a parameter. So I will do log dot acquire. So before entering the critical section, which is to call the increment function, uh, before doing that, I will have to ask um, my main process to acquire me, to provide me a log. If that request is accepted, only then I will move to the increment part. And finally, if I am done, I will just release it because I also want my peers to use that log for accessing the global variable, right? So this is how the things are being done. So let me just reset it and let us try to run our main task again and let us see what is the value. Look at that. It has become quite slow, right? So the process actually became a bit slow because of using the logs and waiting of a thread for acquiring the log, but we are getting the correct value. So by using the logs, although the performance was degraded a bit, but it actually helped us in providing synchro uh, asynchronous behavior. So the final value of all the, um, all the uh, runs that we did here, all the iterations is correct and we were able to achieve thread synchronization by using the lock. So yeah, so this is all about the thread synchronization in Python and I hope the concept is clear. If you still have doubts, you can put them in the comment section below. That's it from this video. Thanks for watching.